Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. And today we are going to discuss uh, trigonometry, application of trigonometry. In this chapter, this is very very interesting chapter. When I was a student even, I find this chapter very interesting. And many questions I used to solve. And if somebody asked me questions from this topic, I uh, was very happy. Uh, in that period of time, but uh, today I am going to teach this topic and uh, this is for you. So, this is very very important topic. I am free myself to teach you people this topic uh, called application of trigonometry, but uh, popularly this is called height and distance because there are only two things here to deal with this uh, one is height and another is distance. Two things is to be calculated in this topic. Uh, one is height of something and another can be distance. Both are uh, almost similar term. Distance when something is to be horizontally measured and height when something is vertically measured. So basically this is the two things, height and distance that you have to calculate in this topic. So how to calculate and what to do with the trigonometry, what kind of application of trigonometry is there, that let me explain first and thereafter we will discuss. But uh, before uh, doing this all, I would like to revise something because few things are very very important here also uh, in trigonometry. So basic idea of trigonometry is required in this topic and that if uh, you are familiar with that one then definitely you will, be, you will enjoy this topic and you will be able to solve the questions related to trigonometry, application of trigonometry. So what are those things which you need to remember? First thing that some relations, trigonometric ratio and second thing that the value of trigonometric ratio for certain measurements and let me revise this and thereafter we will discuss uh, application of trigonometry as well. But uh, first thing that trigonometric ratio is required although you have studied earlier uh, classes but still it is very important so before starting this topic I would like to revise this. So trigonometric ratio, ratio is something uh, which is a comparison. So trigonometric ratio, trigonometric ratio that you need to uh, remember trigonometric ratio so this is what we have to analyze so first of all I should write here few things that sine theta sine theta is P by H or this is a, a right angle triangle this, this is a right angle triangle and this is an acute angle, this is a theta, then that side is called popularly P and this side is called B and this is called H. But in other words, for this angle, this is theta, this is a P and this is B, this is H. But if there is another right angle triangle and where theta is here only, then for that angle, H will remain same but P will be here and B is this. It means this is P and B are relative sides which will depend upon the value of theta. So side opposite to theta that is P is called opposite side. Opposite side. Right? P is nothing else but opposite side. Popularly it is called perpendicular. Perpendicular. Right now? B is adjacent side, adjacent side that is popularly called as base, base, right now, B. So opposite side and perpendicular side and base. So P is opposite side, we will concern it like this and B is base, H is hypotenuse that everybody knows that is not going to change. Right? H is hypotenuse that is not going to change. So sine theta is P by H and P is what? Opposite side that is perpendicular. Usually there is a common perception that the students understand that perpendicular is something which is always vertical. 
Perpendicular is something which is always vertical and base is something which is always horizontal. But this is the wrong concept. Don't understand like this. Right? This HP is just a positive side. It depends upon the theta which acute angle you have taken into consideration. Depending upon that theta, the P is decided. P is always opposite side. So P is here, P is opposite side. This is not vertical. Even here it is horizontal. And here P is vertical. So horizontal and vertical is not the right term which will decide P. What is the right term? That opposite side. Side opposite to acute angle is called P perpendicular. And side, the other side is called adjacent. So if two of them is recognized, what two of them are, which two of them are recognized? Side opposite to right angle is always hypotenuse. That you got it now? Side opposite to right angle is always hypotenuse. And side opposite to acute angle is always opposite side. That is perpendicular. And remaining third side is called adjacent. So there is no mechanism and nothing special about it. This is uh, something which you can learn easily. So sin theta h p by h or in other words you may remember like opposite side sin theta is something that is opposite side upon hypotenuse. Right? Hypotenuse. That can be written. Sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse. And cos theta, another term is cos theta. Cos theta is nothing else but p by h. That is adjacent side upon hypotenuse, right? Adjacent side upon hypotenuse. And the third term is tan theta. That is what? P by B. And in other words, it is called opposite side upon adjacent side. Adjacent side. So opposite side upon adjacent side, these are the things which you need to remember. So sine cos tan, these three trigonometric ratio you need to remember. I am not going to give you extra burden to learn cot theta, sec theta and cosec theta. Only three of them is important and you can remember only three of them. <coughs> that will solve our purpose. So I, uh, I think, think you remember this sine theta p by h cos theta b by h tan theta is p by b and if you are not able to remember this then there is one shortcut technique to learn it and you can learn it like some people have curly brown hair to preserve beauty some s stand for some people have curly brown hair to preserve beauty like this so you can rhyme it and with this rhymes you will be able to learn it quickly and if you know a bit Hindi then you can say uh, Sam Sona Chandi Tole Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bole Sona S for Sona C for Chandi T for Tole P for Pandit B for Badri P for Prasad Har Har Bole Sona Chandi Tole Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bole So like this or some people who are jealous with Pakistan or enemy so they can analyze like Pakistan Bhukha Pyasa Hindustan Hara Hara So you can remember in any way this is the funny things but still it will be very very helpful to remember all those things so I hope you will be able to learn this. So these three things are very very important which you need to remember that first thing is that you should recognize which one is hypotenuse. The side opposite to right angle is always hypotenuse. So this will be hypotenuse. And another thing is that which one of the side is perpendicular that is side opposite to acute angle. The angle which we are considering that is considered to be perpendicular opposite side. So for this theta, this is a perpendicular. If theta is here, then this will be the perpendicular. And remaining third side is considered to be base or adjacent. 
Right? I hope you got it. And the second thing is that the trigonometric ratio that you need to learn is sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. And what the relation is? You have already remembered this P by H, B by H, and P by B. So these are important things which you need to understand and analyze in this topic. The another important aspect of this sage which you need to learn is value of functions. What are those values? Let me explain. Sin theta value of function 0, 30, 45 and 60 and 90 as well. This is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Although 90 degrees is not required, right? 0 degrees is not required. If you remember all only these three only, then it will be helpful and you will be able to analyze this. So sin theta, sin and then cos and then tan, right? Sin cos tan. Many students are very lazy. Are you? You also lazy? No, no. So will you remember this formula and this value? I need those kind of students. I love those students who remember this formula, this value directly. Not say that I will write table and I will derive it and then I will tell you, you the value. So I would love those kind of students who remember this value. So let's write the value 0 sin 30 1 by 2 sin 45 1 by root 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1. Just you need to learn this one line. The second line is just reciprocal of this. 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 and 0. That will be the value. And you know, what the? Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. In that way, one can write this. Sin theta by cos theta. Tan 0 is nothing else but sin 0 by cos 0 that is 0 divided by 1 is 0 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 you will get 1 by root 3 same thing 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 is nothing else but 1 and root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is root 3 and 1 divided by 0 something divided by 0 is not defined so you can write here not defined or you may write another term that is called infinity right now infinity this is the term that is called not defined so that will not come anyway so this table this is the table which you people need to learn and if you learn this definitely I will be very happy you will be also very happy because you will write the value directly without wasting the time. Some people even write this that this is can be written as sine 0 is 0 by 4, 0 by 4, sine value of sine, they can write like this 0 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, and 4 by 4, and then they analyze this 0 by 4 is something 0. So you can use this for memorize this, but not to evaluate every time. 0 by 4 is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0. 1 by 4, the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 2 is 2 by 4, that is 1 by 2. So the square root of 1 will remain 1, and the square root of 2 will remain 2. Root 3, because 3 is not perfect square, so it will remain in root and 4, square root of 4 would be 2. 4 by 4 is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1 and thereafter we can write in reverse order and find in a similar fashion. But this can be used for memorizing this value, not for writing and then evaluating the values and then you will be able to tell me that what would be the value of 30 degree and 60 degree or 45 degree. So this is not like that, right? So try to understand this and thereafter some more things you need to do and need to understand there are two terms 
one term is called angle of elevation and another term is called angle of depression angle of elevation and angle of depression angle of depression what is this two terms to understand this when angle of elevation and when angle of depression will form let me give some example with some story you all live in society na maybe some in rural areas but still in the street there are some houses opposite to each other right na some people are there where the houses are opposite to each other here suppose this is a street this is a street and here outside of this street two side both sides of the street are house are being made and some people house are this is the first floor of the house this is the second floor of the house this is the third floor of the house here also in the similar fashion there is a first floor second floor and third floor and this is the street which is in between in every house society flats and houses there are some balconies are there you know some balconies are there where people usually come out in the evening when they want to uh, see something extra uh, outside environment or the people who are or car or people who are running or moving on the street they want to see them or to gossip with someone also so here two people in their balcony one people is here standing here and he is in his balcony and other people is also standing here and he is also in his balcony and they are talking to each other two boys are talking here and they are talking to each other but here also in second balcony two girls are there pink 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 girls are pink so pink girls are pinky girls are there two pinkies are there here two boys are there and they want to they talk to each other and they also talk to each other okay we have there is no nothing it is just a common thing that boys are talking together and girls are talking together in the evening and their line of sight to see them their line of sight are like this horizontal line of sight are like this you know stay eye to eye contact both of them are talking boys are also talking this is called their line of sight this is called line of sights line of sights but here the boy this girl is talking to the girl but she is interested to look this boy so what to do there is her line of sight is like this but just remove this she has to elevate some elevation is required line of sight some elevation is required to reach it to see in his eye or his figure so that is some elevation is required to see uh, this particle when from a low horizontal line of sight if the line of sight is something reached up in a forward direction then some angle is made with the horizon and that angle is called angle of elevation so this angle is called angle of elevation angle of elevation angle of elevation means the angle of elevation is what the angle the angle which is made with the horizon with the horizon to see object above the level above the level ठीक है that is at certain height then that angle is called angle of elevation right and boy is also not less he is also talking to this boy guys but he is also interested to see this girl so what to do he has to also depress his line of sight slightly depressed line of sight so that will come like this right and some angle is being made that angle is also called angle of depression because this height this is the line of sight 
and that is slightly going to be depressed. So therefore, the sum angle is made, and that angle is called angle of depression. Depression. After depression of this line of sight, this angle is made, and therefore this angle is called angle of depression. Because geometrically, you can analyze this. This is something interior angles because this line of sides and this line of sides both are parallel and in these two parallel lines this is a transversal line so when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal line inter alternate interior angles are equal and therefore this is alternate angles and therefore they are equal so these two angles are equal means in practical sense angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. Angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. So, whenever question is there, you will uh, do that, right? Huh? Angle of depression. So, angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression. And when angle of elevation is made, angle of elevation is made when we have to see something upward. And angle of depression is made when something we have to see downward. So from top of the house, when angle of elevation will be made? If suppose you are on the third floor of your house and you are watching car, what will happen? Angle of elevation or angle of depression? Tell me. What will it? Angle of depression or angle of elevation? Angle of depression. Because at third floor you are looking like this. And when you turn down, the line of sight turns down to see the cars inside the street and on the road. So, angle of depression will be made and that is angle of depression. So, when a person is sitting at the higher level, looking at the lower level, then the angle of made by the person with his eye of, eye of sight or line of sight is called angle of depression. And whenever we see something upward, like vertex of tower, like a flag. Suppose I am on the ground and I want to look at the vertex of a tree. Then my line of sight is like this. And whenever I want to see at the top of the tower, I have to raise this angle. This is what the angle of line of sight, line of sight of my eye, and that is to be raised. So some angle is to be left by made by elevation. That is called angle of elevation. So whenever we see from lower level to upper level, the angle of elevation is made. And whenever we have to see from upper level to lower level, the angle of depression is to be made. So I hope it is clear that what is the angle of elevation and what is the angle of depression. These two points, if it will be clear, then you will be able to understand the question that what would be the position of observer you need to recognize the position of observer where the position of observer would be what he want to see if these two things are clear then it will be very very convenient to draw a diagram level diagram and then definitely you will be able to analyze the questions in quick seconds I hope you got these two points and these two points are very very clear to you Right? So let me discuss with one question. Question is the angle of elevation of or top of a tower. Tower. From 50 meter away, away from its foot on the ground, on the ground is 30 degree. What is the height of tower? What is the height of And 
here, we will write here, let AB is a tower, tower and C is the point of observation, point of observation, observation. So observer is here only, right now? Observer is here and what he want to see? He want to see the tower, top or vertex of tower, this is. So what he has to make? Angle of elevation or angle of depression? Angle of elevation. So that is why it is said that the angle of elevation is made to see top of tower. And what is that angle of elevation? Because the angle made from the horizon. Observer is here and he want to raise this. So this is the angle and that angle is 30 degree. So angle of elevation of the top of tower, top of a tower from 50 meter away from its foot, 50 meter away from its foot, tower is here, then definitely foot will be here only and this from this foot 50 meter away, so this distance is definitely 50 meter. So 30 degree is the angle of elevation, 50 meter is the distance of tower from uh, the point of observation and this height is to be calculated, height of tower is to be calculated. So what will be the relation? We have to find the relation which will solve our purpose. What is our purpose? We have to find this height for this angle because this is a side opposite to acute angle so it must be perpendicular right now this side must be perpendicular this is the side opposite to angle that will be perpendicular and this is perpendicular side opposite to right angle is always hypotenuse so the remaining side is base what we have given we have given this 50 meter and this is the base, base is 50 meter and what we have to calculate height, height is that is perpendicular. So this is the opposite side so it is perpendicular. Don't consider that H is the significance of hypotenuse so it will be um, uh, hypotenuse. No, this is H stand for height. You may write L, you may write P, you may write K, anything. H represent here height, not hypotenuse. So this is P. For this angle, this is P, this is B. And what would be the relation between P and B? Will you say? This is tan theta. Tan theta deal with the relation between P and B. So we have to write tan theta. But remember, tan theta, theta is nothing else but 30 degree. So we need to write tan 30 degree is equal to P. P is what? Height. Height that is H. And B is what? 50 meter. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to H by 50 meter. Meter, if you write, you may write. Otherwise, you can write in the final answer, meter. Now by cross multiplication, what would happen? This 50 will multiply, it is divide this side, it will come this side and it will be multiplied. So what will happen? H is equal to 50 by root 3 meter. Uh, that will be answer. For more simplified way, one can write this, although it is not necessary, but one can write it, multiply by root 3 in numerator and denominator because uh, Irrational terms in denominator doesn't look nice, so that is why uh, we have to multiply root 3 by root 3. Root 3 by root 3 is root 3, so 50 by 3 root 3 meter, this is the height of tower and that will be answer of this question. So, in short, what to do, what to find? Here height to be find and distance is given, distance and height both are correlated things. Height is to be defined, distance is given. That is why this chapter is called height and distance. Sometimes height is given and distance is to be defined. Sometimes distance is given, height is to be defined. And third hidden character is an angle. So that is also possible. We will discuss some question in which angle is also to be determined. So in